If you think about the current energy situation that we have in the world, we have limited resources with the technologies that we're using. We have essentially doomed ourselves to failure and are depending on the upcoming generation to help us get out of that mess. The choices that we begin to make are critical in terms of what natural resources we'll have available to us. So it isn't enough just to do the right thing, it economically makes sense. We need to take advantage of all the renewable technologies. Solar, wind, wave, tidal, biofuels, any of those technologies that will decrease our need on fossil fuels. It's pretty hard to miss. Sustainability, clean energy, reduce, reuse, recycle. As our collective carbon footprint gets larger, governments, businesses, and people all over are increasingly focused on green practices, and the demand for green jobs is growing. The whole green sector, energy efficiency, clean power production, better appliances, that's where all of the new jobs are going to come from grown from 200 to 2,500 turbines, and all forecasts continue that for the next 10 years. So there's going to be huge growth continuing going forward and the need for many more technicians. It's most definitely a growing field. As more and more communities develop recycling programs, composting programs, implement hazardous waste programs, there's going to be job growth. It might seem easy to know which jobs are green and which are not, but for years, experts have been debating that very question. They have finally decided on a simple definition of what makes an industry or occupation green. According to the U.S. government, a green job or business must do at least one of the following. Create renewable energy, improve energy efficiency, recycle, reuse, or reduce pollution, conserve natural resources, enforce environmental laws, or educate about one of the above. And for a job to be considered green, it will fit within one of two broad definitions. Jobs and businesses that produce goods or services that benefit the environment or that conserve natural resources. Or jobs in which the workers' duties make the business's processes more environmentally friendly or reduce its use of natural resources. You may be surprised to learn just how many occupations meet one or both of these requirements. Some are new and unique, but many have been around for decades. We're at a changing point in the way energy is being made. We're seeing that there's smart ways to get energy from wind and solar that don't create pollution, and there's smart ways to use energy. Many of the jobs are going to be the same between the conventional vehicle industry and the new electric vehicle industry. Everything from design, engineering, product assembly and manufacture, assembly supervision, marketing. There's incredible opportunities. Everything from jobs that require either four-year degrees or advanced degrees to people that are coming out of high school and really want to start to work now. We have fish biologists, we have wildlife biologists, wetlands biologists who are worried about insects, butterflies, or plant species. People working in compliance that do permits and they do the planning part and they coordinate research. Green jobs can be found at all levels, for all interests and skill sets, and in just about every industry. From occupations that have been around for decades, even centuries, to new fields we are only beginning to imagine. To find your niche, you'll need to assess what you're good at and what your interests are. And you'll need to do a little digging to explore the world of opportunities within our green jobs economy. This challenge is an enormous opportunity to both create a more livable planet as well as provide great economic return for the participants. And that's everybody from the people who are investing in new ideas as well as people who are making their livelihood creating new technologies. 